Caddy Dad One coming at ya. Um, I just saw a story um, the other day about this showing up at New Marist Station. Well, you remember I did a video about a year ago about this object. It looks bigger here. Um, it looks like it's approaching. It looks like it's come away since um, the last video I took. And now they're making, you know, quite a deal about this. The first time they've seen it, blah, blah. You know, all of y'all know that we uh, saw this planet a year ago. I did a video on that. But there's some really interesting videos that I've seen. I think this is going to be the year of Nibiru. This right here. This is Marshall Masters. And this is Blue Bonnet, what he's calling Blue Bonnet. The Blue Star Kachina is what he believes this object is. This is his object of interest. This here is the lens flare that he's showing. But this is no lens flare. He's been uh, taking several pictures of this thing. There it is again. And it shows in a few pictures its moon. These are some more pictures, and uh, you know you can see it through the clouds even shining there. It's quite bright. You know, a lot of people see this, and they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to see it because this means big trouble. Um, the closer it gets, the more Earth changes we're going to see, and we're going to experience these things but all of us who read the Bible know that these things have to come to pass this has happened before and this will happen again this is all you know part of the workings of our universe but uh this is some really really good pictures of um blue bonnet what he's calling it these others that I'll, I'll show you they're, they're calling it Nibiru uh, I don't know for sure what it is but he believes it's the blue star Kachina and the red star Kachina is not too far behind he's saying that we should be able to all see it clearly here in, uh, in, in July August of this year I mean you can already see it clearly and there's some other magnificent pictures. I mean, look at this. It almost looks like you can see the moons. Here in another video, you can absolutely see the moons on it. But these are the best ones that I've found, and there is a lot of them. These are not what we've been seeing. Um, these, here's one, here's the moon here. And here's the diagram of Blue Star Kachina and the moon. And it's going to light up when they're in conjunction with this planet. There's the second one. And he's showing the movement and the rotation of it there. You can barely see it there. Or maybe this is it here. I mean, that's not a very good picture of it. There's a lot of stuff in the way. Here's this one here, down here quite a lot of clouds on that day but you can see the in conjunction with the uh, the planet the moon or the prevalent moon here now this was a camera that was taken um, pictures um, by a volcano so it was you know recording the volcano and it you know captured this in the background and here's this and the moon again. I wanted you guys to see it one more time. It's very, very, and very neat. Really cool. I mean, what a time we live in. We're going to get to see this thing close. We're going to get to see what people haven't been able to see. Most people that lived on this earth have not been able to see this kind of thing. They have not been able to witness the stuff that we are witnessing and this is his website here 
you can go there and check this out. It's really neat. This is another um, person that caught a bunch of a bunch of pictures of this thing, and he's moving down, um, showing the time it's moving. And it's moving a little bit to the right, and that's what Marshall Masters was showing. That it goes to the right and to the left, and up and down as well, like kind of like a corkscrew. You'll see in the demonstration that he gives. It makes a lot of sense when he when you you'll see it. Now these people. Um, have seen this thing this guy here has been videoing this thing for weeks now for a couple of weeks and he's seen the first time he saw it he thought it was a UFO but now he knows that it's not a UFO that it is a planet and he can go right outside and pick it up he knows right where it's at and he goes and films it this is a compilation of the best of his, his pictures and in this one you can clearly see the moon and for some reason it turns into this looking thing I don't know what that is but it's pretty amazing but some of these cameras that they have nowadays are just unbelievable really good and there it is there kind of with a fog around it or a fuzz around it or something I don't know if that's electrical or what and you can kind of see one of the moons there it looks like see the two there's two of them that's what he sees when he zooms in is that this thing doesn't it isn't just one object but it's several and you'll see that it's still in the two there there it's three see one two three these are really good pictures and like I say he's got several videos of this thing I mean more than an hour's worth of uh, footage on different days and he's going to be watching it and he's going to be taking pictures he's in Texas and these both of these shots are the same I mean all three of these this thing is about the same place in the sky that Marshall Masters um, blue bonnet is at there's three you look at that look at that I mean that's amazing and then some puff of mist or something up there that seems to be going along with these um, planets moons whatever they are he says he knows they're not UFOs because he's gone out for over a week now and, and filmed these things there and they follow the same pattern every day they're right you know right after sun right there at sundown um, right to the right of the sun both pictures the same thing look at this the year of Nibiru y'all and we're gonna see more and more of these amazing pictures and this amazing footage as time gets further and further approaches and like I said, it, it turns into this. It's quite amazing. I don't know what in the world that is. <clears throat> I don't know if it's sun reflection or what, but it's pretty neat. And that's why he thought it was UFOs. Is because it turned into this on him. Now, I don't know what the deal is with it, but it's pretty amazing. Just unbelievable, this stuff but it's not fake this is the uh, the second video this is Marshall Masters this is uh, no I'm sorry this is music player 1979 this is the guy here that just you just saw his video this is Planet X and the Bureau of the Rising now this is the 100 uh, 
Bev Gillum. Gillum. This is the one where he um, took pictures more and more, you know, it was going down. And this is Marshall Masters website here. So go there and check these sites out. And like I said, there's many more. And here is our friend down in uh, the South Pole and New Mare Station. Just really, really good picture of it this time. It showed itself for a few more frames. And it looks bigger to me. What is this? It ain't the moon. We've shown that it's not the moon. And it ain't the moon here. They know that it's not the moon. They've checked. Because this, uh, this also showed up on Before It's News. This story did. But pretty neat, huh? What a time we live in. Anyway, I hope everybody's well. And this is that, that one. Go there and check it out. Anyway, I hope everybody's well. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. And good luck to us all. Never give up your guns because you're right. We'll go right with them. Pray for our country. We need it bad. We need all the help we can get. Love y'all. Y'all take care. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.